right, so this is the Beowulf cluster in question. This is for Lenovo Think Center's uh, M710Q. So they each have an i5, 6500, four cores. They each have eight gigs of RAM. I'm handling them through a six port unmanaged Netgear. And I'm using as a NAT master node a Lenovo 2480. Also only running eight gigs of RAM for the master node. And then of course it's a rat's nest. Um, cable management could be a lot better, but I keep these in my office at work because that way I can put all the nodes and the master on static IPs, which makes my life a lot easier. So part of the impetus for building this was just because I, I find distributed computing really interesting and the mechanisms for doing that, um, largely MPI, and also just because I wanted an excuse to, to build something. And, you know, clusters of this size are, you know, um, are a uh, compelling price point because these are the switch is what maybe 20 bucks each of those computers are 50 bucks i already had the t480 so you know i'm uh out the door it's a couple hundred bucks and you can do all kinds of stuff with a cluster distributed computing um kubernetes clustering all kinds of stuff so i wanted to learn more about mpi and I wanted to see how something like a Beowulf cluster was just repurposed old computers. I don't know when these were built, but i5-6500s I think are seventh gen. So they're, I don't know, probably three or four years old. I wanted to see how they in a cluster compared to the most performant computer I easily have access to, which is my work computer which has 16 cores. I'm not sure if all those are true cores or or not. Um, but yeah, so obviously since I've never done MPI before and um, YouTube com content is very, very hard to come by when it comes to clustering in general and Beowulf clusters specifically. So uh, chat GPT had to help me a good bit, so. Getting this instantiated is relatively straightforward. Um, all these are running Ubuntu server. Um, they just need to have MPI installed. They need to be able to, uh, their communication, their passwordless secure shell needs to be set up between them so they can talk to each other through the router, um, or through the switch, I should say, and to the master node, um, which is also plugged into the switch with this long black Cat5 here. This this is just, this isn't a separate computer. This is just my KVM essentially for these. Um, but all that's really required is putting Python on these because that's what I'm, I started out with um, a Python script and putting MPI on them and making sure they can talk to each other and then being able to access this or secure shell into this computer as the master and run the command um, and assign the tasks to the nodes. So it's relatively straightforward. And like I said, I was curious to know what kind of performance you can get out of relatively old hardware. And what I was able to get was kind of surprising. I don't remember the exact times, um, but I had GPT write a script. And I don't remember which algorithm it used. It doesn't strictly matter. Um, but I had it find the first 100,000 primes. So um, this cluster, just these four, because no work is done on the, the master node, it is strictly orchestration and task assignment. So just these four computers, which, uh, 2.4 gigahertz apiece, 16 total cores, was 20 times faster than a 16 core single computer, which is effectively brand new, which is really interesting.
20 times faster. I think if I rem my memory serves me, my work computer was took five seconds and this took less than one second, um, which is kind of wild. Now there obviously is a lot of variability there because maybe the algorithm that I <clears throat> used, if I changed it, that would change the timing differential between the two. Maybe if I used a different language, maybe if I used a compiled language since MPI is language agnostic, it's hard to say. Uh, maybe I could have split the jobs up in a slightly different way or used a different algorithm that was lent itself to parallelization uh, more readily. So it's, you know, I mean, this isn't, it's, it's not a, you know, it's not a done deal. Uh, but for that instance, it was pretty interesting and compelling. Um, but it would be interesting to try either different algorithms for the same problem, a different problem, and also um, a different language other than Python, which is just what I'm most familiar with and what I do most of my work in day to day. Uh, but maybe something like Go or C. I mean, obviously they're both gonna be faster, but whether or not this is gonna continue to be dramatically faster, who's to say? Um, it's very, very hard to find information about cluster performance and um, performance optimization on a Beowulf cluster, so. I guess that was also the impetus for making this video. But it's been pretty fun, it's pretty straightforward. Right now they're not on just because I don't have, I'm very busy with my actual work tasks, so I don't have time to goof off. Um, but usually these are on 24 seven and I just fiddle with them as I have time. Um, so yeah, if you have questions about my setup, um, you know, feel free to drop them below and hopefully at some point in the near future I'll be able to make a follow-up video with another language, like I said, or another algorithm, um, or both, to see if that insane disparity between a $2,000 laptop and four $50 old computers um, continues to be the case.